make things shake. You know I gets that money, oh, it's that cake. cake. I gets that bread. You know yeah. they make things shake. You know I gets that money, it's that cake. cake. I gets that bread. I'm back in the building. Shake. You know I gets that money. Put a little dirty south swag on the wheel. You know what it is. Huh. I just want to tell y'all something real quick, right? Take it or leave it. But I'm going to tell you. Mad Smooth, what up? We getting ready to drop, bro. I'm going to tell y'all something. You can take it or leave it. Somebody tell me, here we go. Bro, you crazy. I'm going to tell y'all some real shit and y'all can take it or leave it. Love y'all too. No, this is a detox island green with that extra ginger. And don't let them put nothing sweetening wise in your shit. You got to get it good and nasty. That's how you know it's healthy. I'm going to tell y'all something, right? You take it or fucking leave it. That's usually how it is on my page. Take it or fucking leave it, but I'm going to say the shit, right? As y'all go through life, and this go for self, I'll be back in ATL in September. And we're talking all business, all money. Go for yourself. And as you interact, grow, meet people, right? Right, Flex. So listen, this is what I want to tell y'all. And again, this go for self. This go for people y'all might be dealing with, right? When you meet people, the respect that they do or don't get from the people around them, right? That shit come from their actions. It come from their actions. And I want y'all to really separate this as I say it, right? It don't have shit to do with, a good majority of the time, it don't have shit to do with their intentions now. They have everything to do with their actions prior to now, right? So in a nutshell, you gonna get the respect that you so-called do based on what the fuck you do. I'm gonna say that again. You gonna get the respect that you so-called do based on what the fuck you do, right? I'm saying that because a lot of y'all don't realize you can't post us into respecting you. You can't dress up and make us respect you. Not At least not those of us with a brain. Now the motherfuckers that a lot of y'all deal with, you might could. I ain't gonna even put it past them or you. But those of us with a motherfucking brain, bitch, you can't dress up and make us respect you. You can't post and self-proclaim yourself X, Y. We gonna respect you based on your actions. We gonna respect you based on the reputation you created with your actions. We gonna treat your ass and move accordingly with you based on what the fuck you do, did, have done. Do y'all understand that? Now that's first things first. And again, this is completely separate from what your intentions might be today. Because you know that people change, right? That's a fact. You may have changed up your heart, your mind on what you want for yourself and your life and your reputation. But bitch, you're going to only get respected and treated based on what the fuck we know you to have done, did, do. Do y'all understand that part? The respect that you're due is going to be based on what the fuck you do. Everybody clear on that? Anybody not understand that part? Because some of y'all got it twisted. Y'all so used to being able to dress up and get people to treat you a certain way. Flash a little money and get people to move with you a certain way. Y'all used to using your emotional manipulation, act crazy, yell, scream, walk around with an attitude to get motherfuckers to tiptoe around you, right? And treat you a certain kind of way. Those of us with a brain, we don't give a fuck. 
We give no fucks about your attitude, bitch. You can walk around angry all day long. Ho, you can keep an attitude to the day you motherfucking die. Nigga, you can talk all that shit, dress up, flash your money. You're going to get the respect that you're due based on what the fuck you do. And a lot of y'all, the things that you do, the respect that you say you do, you're not. You're not. You're not. Just looking at y'all like y'all looking at me, making sure this shit register. So now when we fuck around and get in relationships, business deals, go to family functions and shit, bitch, you gonna get the respect, right? That you're due based on your motherfucking actions. Not that stuff you told yourself. We're not gonna treat you based on how you feel like you should be treated. We gonna treat your ass based on how your ass earned to be treated. We gonna treat you in a way that match what the fuck you put out. A lot of y'all want to be respected as an adult, but you don't do adult shit. A lot of y'all want to be communicated with maturely. You want your views considered, but you're not the type of motherfucker, nigga or bitch for us to be considering a fuck thing you say or do. And it's based on your reputation, the one that you created with your actions. Not the shit we told ourselves in our mind, but the stuff that everybody can clearly see that you're known for. Even if you don't want to be known for it, even if you don't like it, right? Even if you're not proud of it, bitch, we're going to treat you the way that your ass is due to be treated based on how the fuck you act, right? So when we talk about adults, right? A lot of y'all want to be treated as an adult. But bitch, you don't got no motherfucking job. You don't know how to consistently budget and manage your money to do adult shit. You don't know how to manage your emotions to where you can actually interact with people from a space that we don't all have to try to tiptoe or act like your feelings matter more than real life. Y'all don't know how to do that. So you're not an adult. I don't give a fuck how old you is. You can be 35, 40, 33. Bitch, unless you're in some sort of agreement with a partner where they are willingly taking care of you and the responsibilities you fucking made, nigga or bitch, you need a job. That's first things first. You need a job. Y'all know I start with the motherfucking basics. Bitch, you ain't got to be fly flashing on top of the world, but bitch, you need some motherfucking work. So for those y'all that's around, you don't even have a job, not an adult. Not an adult. I don't give a fuck what kind of job it is, whether you an entrepreneur, bitch, whether you hustle day to day on the streets. I wouldn't give a fuck. If you don't get up and generate revenue to cover your own adult needs, get your ass the fuck up out of here. The respect you think you finna get out of anybody with half a brain like me, bitch, you're not. You're going to get the respect that's due based on your actions. You know how they say stay in a child's place? That's what you need to go do. How they make the kids go in the other room when adults have business going on? Go to the other room until you figure out that in this country, maybe another country you looked at online, but in this country, the United States of America, bitch, if you don't work, you don't eat. So for y'all motherfuckers that don't work, you're robbing Peter to pay Paul using somebody or trying to infiltrate some other circle to get something for free. And that's not respected. So the respect you think you're going to get, bitch, you're not. You're motherfucking not. I wouldn't give a fuck if you worked at McDonald's, Burger King, motherfucking Walmart, goddamn real estate firm. I wouldn't give a fuck. Respect to you if you got a job. That's first things first. As an adult, I don't give a fuck if you cut grass under the motherfucking table. Bitch, if you make your own products and sell them bitches on Etsy or Instagram or a website, get you some motherfucking money. Because in this country, not because Love Dorsey said it, but because we live in the United States of America. Bitch, if you don't work, you don't eat. So if you're not working, bitch, if you're not doing some sort of hustle to get you something, bitch, you got to be doing some shit where you're using somebody else to get by. And that's not okay. That doesn't warrant respect. We don't want to hear what the fuck you got to say. Go in the room with the kids because you're a kid, your motherfucking self. Just because you pass out pussy, just because you be dicking holes down, that doesn't mean that we have to respect you as an adult. Take your ass home. You're going to get the respect that you're due based on what you do. Let me just let that settle. Just let that settle. That's for one. That's first things first. We starting with the basics, right? Just the basics. Now, for those of y'all that you do work, but you can't manage yourself, your spending habits, your money, your attitude about your money enough to be able to budget that shit and consistently just take care of your basics. You ain't got to be fly, flashy and rich, but bitch, you got to be able to take that money that you're earning, right? 
and make it enough to be able to maintain a lifestyle or take care of the responsibilities that you fucking made or that you brought about in your life based on your choices or the generational curses you was raised up out of. Looking at y'all like y'all looking at me. Just the basics. Just the motherfucking basics. If y'all around here chasing the next bitch down like they owe y'all for something that you supposed to be covering yourself, like your transportation, like feeding yourself, like washing your motherfucking skin and clothing yourself and getting yourself right. If you believe that it makes sense and you're due some sort of adult respect when you out here crying about another bitch not handing you extra money on top of what you earn to take care of the responsibilities you fucking made, bitch, you got another thing coming. Nigga, you got another thing coming. You gonna get the respect that you're due based on what you do. You ain't got to live no lavish fucking, you know, fly lifestyle, but the transportation, meaning you getting around, I don't care if you take a Lyft or an Uber or bitch you take uh, public transportation or you got your own car. As long as you're responsible for the finances that it requires to be able to get around, you're good in my book. If you don't, you got some work to do. You're going to get the respect that you're due. Based on what you do. Everybody clear on that. I wouldn't give a fuck what y'all type on here. This is basic, bottom line, common motherfucking sense. And I want y'all to watch. Because anybody get on this motherfucking disagree, stay as far the fuck away from them as you can. And for those y'all to be sitting around playing with a bitch, making these people think they more than what they are, you got to get the basics together first, sis. You got to get the basics together first, bruh, before you can open your mouth. The fact that they allow y'all to type whatever status y'all want, y'all think y'all can manipulate us with them statuses into believing we owe y'all or y'all do some respect that you're not due. Get your ass out here in the motherfucking trenches and do the basics first. Then come talk your shit. Just looking at y'all like y'all looking at me. This is just the basic shit. Where you lay your head, the soap you wash your ass with, the toilet tissue that you wipe your ass with, the deodorant that you put on, the shoes you walk around with on, cover that shit yourself financially. Don't use nobody else check. Don't use nobody else. Don't. And then when y'all be around people like this, that y'all got them believing, because see, watch this. I'm going to go a little bit deeper, right? Y'all be having people around y'all, and for the sake of making them feel better, you will bring them along for your journey as you do adult shit. And because they experience life alongside you based on what you allow them to have access to based on the labor that you put in, the work you put in, you got them believing they on some sort of level that they ain't on. Y'all, a lot of them, including when you raise your children, you got to start from the bottom and make sure they understand this is how adult life works. All y'all motherfucking friends and them hoes y'all be fucking on, the people y'all be laid up with. When y'all sit around the motherfuckers and make them feel like there is some sort of respect that everybody else owes them, family members and friends that supposedly ain't treating them right. But y'all know damn well these motherfuckers not getting up off their ass and going out in the world and getting it. They sitting around with you and you feeding into the narrative that they owe some sort of respect or some sort of understanding they ain't motherfucking earned. You gonna get what the fuck you do based on what you do. Whole time they motherfucking not. Whole time they, and y'all will lay up with hoes like this. You know the bitch don't work, don't do shit to actually pave her own way. You will fuck and entertain the idea that she's some sort of grown woman. Y'all lay up with these niggas knowing they ain't putting me in, ain't getting up and moving their feet every day, active, just to, to the basics, right? Just cover your own way first, nigga. Just cover your own way first, bitch. Show yourself, the world, the family you was raised from, that just your basic needs first. You can cover those without begging the next bitch, robbing Peter, the PayPal, using some kids to manipulate some child support out the next motherfucker to cover what you need for yourself. Cover that shit first. Cover you first. Y'all lay up with these motherfuckers and make them think they hot shit when in all reality, bitch, you're not even grown. Grown folks know what the fuck's up. Bitch, we got to get out here in the trenches, move our feet, and get some shit going on to where we ain't got to worry about what another motherfucker do or don't do. We gonna eat regardless. We ain't got to worry about what another motherfucker say, where they go, what they put in, what they don't. We gonna make sure shit good for us regardless. Just looking at y'all like y'all looking at me. This the shit y'all don't like to talk about. Y'all get around people, they tell y'all how their family did them wrong and how this went on and that. And then once you round them long enough, you'll see. 
You see just what their family saw. That their ass don't pull their own way. They want somebody to be the, the fucking person that's responsible for their responsibilities. Otherwise, they get an attitude. They get mad. You don't buy them something or you ain't there for them through their traumas and their drama that they created based on their motherfucking choices. They mad at you. You see that shit? But you the only ignorant motherfucker to sit around them and pretend like this shit makes sense instead of telling their ass the motherfucking truth. Y'all be overlooking a bitch reputation they created for their motherfucking self. Because I ain't met a bitch yet that got good work ethic and sitting around crying about what a motherfucker did or didn't give them. I ain't met a nigga yet that got good work ethic and sitting around crying about what a bitch, a nigga, a friend, a fro, a mama, a daddy did for them. They doing for their motherfucking self and the kids they fucked and made. Y'all cry too much and a lot of y'all niggas and hoes play with these bitches and niggas too much. Y'all play with them too much. You got them believing they do something that they ain't. Bitch need to get out here and be grown. I'm just letting it sink in, just looking at y'all like y'all motherfucking looking at me. Because this is shit that ain't been said yet. Motherfucker don't be telling y'all. Y'all meet people, get with these niggas, they tell y'all this sob story about how, yeah, my sister ain't fucking with me, my mama ain't this and this going on and that. And it don't take you long, girl. It don't take you long to lay up with that nigga. It don't take too many dick sucks for you to realize, wait a minute. I'm starting to see this motherfucker don't got good work ethic. This motherfucker don't stand on their word. This motherfucker lie and scheme and trick and manipulate more than he actually stand on business. And then you sit there and play along because you want a man so bad. You play along this motherfucker doing something to deserve some sort. Nah, y'all two together, you lying to him, he lying to himself, and then y'all want us to believe the lies as well. No, 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 no. Fuck that nigga and fuck you too. And it be the same for y'all hoes. Y'all sit around and bitch, you cry every other month about what a baby daddy or somebody ain't give you. Ho, if you don't go get a job, your grandma ain't tell you, mama ain't tell you, kids don't keep a nigga and it don't make you rich. A lot of y'all hoes, you thought you was finna come up off of keeping a nigga baby. You made an emotional decision. Now you sitting around looking stupid because that responsibility weighing on you. Had that baby out of spite and bitches weighing on you. Now you want us to believe everything about the nigga bad because you can't get your life together. I ain't met a bitch yet that got good work ethic that's worried about what a nigga paying in child support. The hoes I know that's on it, bitch, we own it. We only wouldn't give a fuck what a nigga do. We own it. For the sake of the things we need. So see, we ain't somewhere crying about what the next bitch ain't putting in. And then y'all niggas get with these hoes and based on their looks and shit, you make them feel like they're some sort of high level ass bitch. Y'all want to call them boss bitches and they this and they that because they look. Looks don't pay bills, bitch. Looks don't pay bills unless you tricking, ho. And a lot of y'all, you ain't got access to no rich nigga that's willing to pay you enough to take care of your whole lifestyle. Y'all don't be no motherfucking Carisha or nobody. Y'all better get a grip on regular life. Oh, you better go get a job. Bitch, you better go move your feet to get the shit you need. Are you crazy? And then y'all think it's going to manifest good results for y'all. Good karma. Y'all think life going to go well from that shit. Because you sit around all day and cry about how people got you fucked up. And nobody wasn't, ain't there for the kids. And you was left with this responsibility. Wasn't you the only one fucking them? Ain't you the one decided to push the babies out? Every single motherfucking one that you had? Bitch, didn't you understand that when having children, it affects the mom way more than it affects the man? Y'all play too crazy for me. You're going to get the respect based on what your mind show through your actions. And a lot of y'all, bruh, you do just what the fuck you do. Just looking at y'all like y'all looking at me. And y'all niggas be laying up with these bitches, making them feel like based on their looks or because they waist little and their ass fat, that they on some sort of level. Then you expect, uh, hey, y'all gonna respect my bitch. Hey, fuck you and your bitch. She gonna get the respect she motherfucking do based on what the fuck she do. Cry baby ass, whining ass hoes that sit around and think shit gonna get handed to them in life because they pushed out a baby or two. Don't get no motherfucking respect around here. Bitch, we respect hustlers. We respect grinders. We respect females that get out in the world and they do what the fuck they supposed to do. Alongside a nigga or a bitch that have what they want to have out of life. Y'all hoes crazy. Y'all niggas crazy. Looking at y'all like y'all looking at me. You don't get no motherfucking respect over here. Bro, tell your bitch to go get a job. Bitch, tell your nigga to go get a job. Beat they feet on the basics. Just the basics first. Stop all that lying, crime, manipulating, emotional ass shit. 
crying, manipulating that shit. Get your ass out here in the trenches, bitch, and become an adult first. Then talk about what kind of respect you do and what a bitch supposed to consider when you say what you say. A lot of y'all, y'all want people to listen to y'all. And I'm being so pure with y'all right now. Y'all be wanting people to listen to y'all, accept y'all opinion, weigh y'all viewpoint in. But, bruh, if all you do is lie, trick, scheme, hide shit, can't stand on business when it comes to stuff you said, why would we fucking consider what the fuck you say? About any fucking thing. Any fucking thing. The same goes for you bitches. A lot of y'all just let all you do is chase welfare, worry about what a nigga doing, and worry about what bitches he fucking with. That's all y'all worry about. And then when you say something, you want a bitch to consider your opinion or, you know, value the things you say you need. Bitch, if you don't get your ass the fuck out of here, you're going to get the respect you do based on what you do. I got a lot of respect for a lot of people in the world. But it's a lot of y'all. Bitch, bye. Bitch, bye. Bye. Y'all be feeding into these bullshit ass stories, these fake ass narratives these people be telling y'all. And we in 2023. For relationships, watch this. For friendships, watch this. For business, watch this. For just being associated with people. You want people around you that they're not a liability. Ooh, watch this. They an asset. Ooh, watch this. A lot of y'all... The people I'm talking about, y'all don't even realize they a liability. They're a fucking liability. A lot of y'all, you in relationships with a motherfucking liability. You moving your feet and working every day. This motherfucker laid up at home talking shit on the internet and worry about what the next bitch ain't giving them or what a bitch ain't doing for them. Liability. You getting out here in the trenches every day trying to learn shit, better yourself, fix your credit, get better with my, this motherfucker in your ear with all the aggravating negative shit they can come up with day by day. Liability. It's a lot of y'all like you trying to break generational curses. You trying to be better. You trying to get up out of your fucking anger and out of your past traumas and do better for the sake of you and your children. You with a motherfucker laid up every day and ain't contributing shit. And then y'all let the internet condition y'all to believe how a bitch look is supposed to determine how you treat them or what pedestal you put them on. Vanity phase, babe. And that shit could be bought. I done told y'all on plenty of lies. As a feet, bitch, we can go to Miami and buy a whole new face, body, ass. They fixing feet, teeth, ears, bitch, underarms, every motherfucking thing. They fit, you can go buy that. All you gotta do is get you some money. You can go purchase that. So the fact that a lot of y'all walk around and you act like that's the, the top tier, that's what makes you a bad bitch, you got life fucked up. If your looks is all you got, bro, if the bitch you got, the only thing she got going is looks, girl, if the nigga you got, the only thing he got going is that he could dress well and look good, I. Right. I'm going to tell y'all something else, it's, especially to y'all as fellas. For females, if you meet any bitch, I don't care who she is. I'm speaking for all of them. All of them. Don't let a bitch tell you they're exempt from this. When a woman only has vanity to offer, meaning her best quality is her looks, she gonna do some whole shit. She gonna do some whole shit. When a female, young or old, only has looks to offer, she gonna do some whole shit. She gonna do some whole shit. I'm gonna say that shit again. When a female only has looks to offer she gonna do some whole shit she gonna do some whole shit facts facts big facts little facts all the facts It's a fact. I'm going to tell y'all something about niggas. When a nigga only got his looks and how he dress as his best asset, that's the only thing he really got going for himself, girl, you're going to get used. Bitch, you're going to get used. Y'all fuck around with these niggas and their best qualities, what outfits they can put together. You're going to get motherfucking used. You're going to get used. Girl, you're going to get used. You're going to get used. I say that shit again. When all a nigga got is his looks and the fact that he can dress as his best quality, bitch, you finna get used. Nigga ain't finna lead you nowhere, provide you nothing, 
offer you no sort of understanding on leadership or any of that shit when it comes. How are you finna get used? You better hope the dick good. Because that's all you gonna motherfucking get. Used. All facts. Little facts. Big facts. Exactly. Be fresh as fuck. No crib. Fresh as fuck. No basics together. Fresh as fuck. No money saved up. Fresh as fuck. No understanding for credit. Fresh as fuck. No real life decision making skills that a bitch or her children or a family unit should be following behind. Somebody to my hot boy shit. Y'all lie to y'all self. And y'all will sit there and lie to another bitch right next to you. Believing that they owe some sort of respect that they not. And see, if y'all really understand what I'm saying, you'll realize the people that I should give the most effort, attention, kindness, Grace too are the people that understand on a basic level there is certain shit that all of us as adults have to have understood. This be the very reason why y'all be having so many sad stories. A lot of y'all niggas, this be the reason why you can't accomplish and get to that level you want to get to as a man. Got a liability for a bitch. A lot of y'all females, you lock in and have babies from niggas that's a liability. And then a lot of y'all, you just be lying to yourself. You tell yourself somebody was a liability to you, but really, your life looked the same as it always looked based on your same bum-ass choices. It be so many of y'all I done connected with through y'all trying to get y'allself together and I respect it, but y'all got y'allself believing that somehow dealing with this particular person made my life go down. But before you met your baby daddy and you had the kids you had, you ain't have no real money, no real foundation under you, no real success in life. After you met that nigga, yeah, you went through some fucked up shit, but if you look at your life now, it really ain't no different than what it was before. It feel harder because there are now children involved, but before you had the kids, you weren't doing no real self-development or getting yourself together or advancing your life or pouring into you or working like a motherfucker. There are some people that state testimony, but bitch, for a lot of y'all, it's not yours. A lot of y'all niggas in the same boat. Before you got connected with that girl and had all them kids, nigga, you weren't doing nothing big. You weren't doing nothing. We look at your life before then. You wasn't reaching no high levels of success. You wasn't pouring into yourself like that. You wasn't on no shit where you lost a whole bunch. But y'all will tell y'all self it's somebody else's fault. No, this shit consistent with you. What you getting out of life is consistent with where your brain been at this whole time. Rather you fuck with a bitch or two or not. Just looking at y'all like y'all looking at me. Lying to your motherfucking self. Somebody said, yes, that's me. I didn't realize after I had my child what I was doing. Listen, and you just got to be real with yourself. That's what this shit about being honest about what the fuck you do, not just going along with some sort of narrative. Because you got on an app and a couple posts made you feel like, oh, yeah, I people should be giving me that. I should be doing. Y'all be lost. Lost. And need to wake the fuck up. Bitch, you're going to get out of life based on what you work to get. A lot of y'all don't realize the reason why you be up, then down, up, then down, up, because your intentions don't be pure. Life is full of happenings. Meaning you can call it up and down based on like consequences of choices and variables that change in life. But a lot of y'all, the stuff you going through where you have these really good moments and then you lose it all and go back. Now, a lot of that shit have to do with your intentions. You got to go inward and search for what's really going on. 
Y'all be done used and fucked over a lot of people. Y'all be done told a lot of lies. And I ain't talking about to other people. I'm talking about to your motherfucking self. Y'all be done trick yourselves into believing that you deserve some shit that you don't really deserve. And then your attitude towards life puts a certain energy out that's fake. And that's why every bit of your blessings that you think be blessed be fake. Y'all don't realize, like you think when I talk about intentions, you know, not being pure and not being right. You think it got to be some whole deep negative plot. No, it don't. No, it don't. All you got to be doing is moving through life where the shit you're acquiring is not coming from you actually putting in from a pure space. Y'all be losing that shit as fast as you get it. Somebody said my intentions has got in my way for a long time. I'm 30 and, I'm, and I started to feel you. Listen, you got you got to check self. Everything I'm talking about has to do with looking inward, not outward, looking inward. A lot of decisions and shit a bitch be done did. That shit don't be organic and pure like that live. I did that one day and I respect the fact that the majority of the women on there was honest. But most bitches have kids nowadays out of some sort of spiteful agenda. And then you wonder why your parenting journey be hard and a struggle and emotionally damaging. You never went in that shit with a pure heart. You got pregnant from a nigga that the, the relationship wasn't what you was telling yourself it was. Had the baby out of spite or some old weird shit and went on, went forward with these lies to the point where you convinced yourself you some sort of victim. And you wonder why you catching hell. You catching just what the fuck you put out. And yes, this is it's it's very spiritual, it's very emotional, it's very mental. Y'all don't realize that a lot of y'all like y'all struggle come from y'all intentions. The stuff y'all be and this this is where the fucked up part go. When I talk about the spiritual part, y'all love to say God or Yahweh or Allah or Buddha or somebody is the reason why you going through this. He gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. Listen, listen. That's some shit to tell yourself to cope with the fact that you facing the consequences of your motherfucking choices. It's like it's, it ain't rocket science. When you breed and have a child out of unpure intentions, out of the intent to take somebody else the fuck down. You know how they say the grave you dig or the hole you dig for somebody else. You will find yourself in that bitch. It's a lot of y'all bitches. You found yourself in that bitch. You had the baby with the every intent to break a nigga up with some other bitch they was dealing with or bring a nigga down and that shit was just a decision that brought you to your motherfucking knees postpartum eating your ass the fuck up. Them struggles and them that shit going on that you got to provide for them jits and you realize nobody don't give a fuck because we got our own problems and then some of y'all you get the child support money you realize that shit ain't shit two three hundred dollars three four hundred dollars in life takes so much more when you got multiple children y'all ate your own selves up with that shit took y'all selves the fuck down it ain't take a nigga to it took you to do that to you based on what you thought you was doing to a nigga your heart gotta be pure y'all don't realize that and I know y'all hoes don't like me when I talk like this, but I be trying to reach the younger generation. Fuck y'all hoes that already did it that don't want to be accountable. People like my daughter, I tell her, look at these dumb ass hoes. I'm keeping my baby. Fuck that nigga. Bitch, I got his baby. I got his baby. The, all the 365 days of the year, bitch, you catching hell. With his baby. With his baby. You done dug a ditch for your motherfucking self. Y'all crazy as hell. And then be wondering why times be tough. Things be hard. Because, bitch, your heart ain't pure. Your intentions behind why you even got them kids, it ain't pure. And y'all niggas be going through it as well. Y'all be doing shit, getting in people's lives, picking these females that you know they looking for something pure, looking for somebody honest to lead and put in, knowing y'all ain't on that shit. 
You take a bitch down through there with your actions, your lies, your choices that are not of a mature man. And you wonder why later on you looking stupid. Can't get your finances right. Your bros and shit be trying you, turning it back on you. End up with a prison bid or some sort of prison. And you want a bitch to feel sorry for you. No, that hole you was digging. That shit you thought you was doing to make a bitch feel some type of way, you ain't do nothing but make yourself feel some type of way. Now do that time and sit your ass down somewhere and shut the fuck up. Chin up, chest out, fuck nigga. Eat that. Y'all be doing it to y'all bitch, I ain't did it to you. You be doing it to your motherfucking self. Somebody to my leave him alone, love. If you if you young, receive what I'm saying. Don't listen to these raggedy old bitches and niggas that be saying shit where they want to see you repeat the same generational curses they repeated because they don't want to be the only one. It ain't nothing positive and productive about birthing children with somebody that don't want no kids with you or don't even want the fucking kids. Time you tell them you're pregnant. There's no honor. There's no flex in that shit. So y'all young girls, receive what the fuck I'm saying. What y'all be calling me, auntie? Receive what the fuck auntie saying. So y'all dudes, there's no honor. There's no nothing positive or no real purpose in dealing with a bitch that ain't moving her feet alongside you, bro. Ain't nothing in it. No honor, no positivity. It's not a flex to be around here dealing with a motherfucker that all she got to add to the family unit is looks. Bro, you can get you a, a average looking bitch, a hell of ugly bitch. Y'all get y'all some money together and you can go down to Miami to DR and buy a bitch a whole new look. That's nothing. Looks nice like outfits. You can go purchase them hoes. Bitch, worry about a nigga. Worry about a bitch character. Worry about her work ethic. Worry about if when you get out and beat your feet out in the world, is she getting getting out here and doing hers as well? Is she just watching you and hoping to come up off of you? I've said enough. Listen, y'all make sure y'all enjoy the rest of y'all um y'all weekend. <laughs> Go and click the link in my bio. And buy my Managing Emotions e-guide. Get that bitch. Save it in your phone. It will help you stay out your feelings all the time and in real life. So any of y'all that bought my e-guide and you kind of slow on tech and you struggling to download it, just shoot, shoot an email to my website or DM me. You know, I'll give you the instructions again on how to re-download it. But keep, save that bitch in your phone, in your mobile device so you can reference that bitch often. It'll help. I'm telling y'all. And if you're raising children, start now. Start young. Teaching them about management of emotions. It's important. That should affect every aspect of your life. To those of y'all that you already clicked the link in my bio and you already bought the e-guide, I fuck with y'all. From me to y'all, I fuck with y'all for the support, for paying into the platform, and for caring about yourself enough to know that new information on shit like managing emotions is important. You know how many opportunities we fuck up, how many holes we dig for ourselves based on a fucking feeling, based on an emotion we can't manage. Bitches going through financial struggles. These people can't stop spinning based on their feelings. These people can't stop fucking based on their feelings. These people that can't level up and retain information because they feelings in the way. It's people that make the wrong decisions every day because they can't manage what they feel. It's people that choose the wrong people around them every day. They ain't even doing shit crazy. Just the motherfuckers around them bringing that bad juju and that bad energy into the circle. And they can't get away from because of how they feel. You got to be able to manage and separate what you feel from what the fuck is necessary for life it's a lot of y'all you struggle to make the decisions with parenting that you need to make for the betterment of your children and breaking generational curses because of your emotions you two and your feelings about what your baby daddy or your baby mama did to understand that kids that don't have both parents involved they don't know both sides of them they end up a fucking statistic as a majority and that's a fact for those y'all that you are part of my my personal group my book club or my list of people that are tapped into my platform all the time look for desiree to send out a text for the zoom topics this month make sure y'all tap in i fuck with y'all and listen if you see me touring pull up pull up with that good energy pull up with them smiles pull up with that real conversation pull the fuck up atlanta i'm coming back birmingham alabama i'm coming there charlotte north carolina i'm coming there 
Chicago, I'm coming there. It's coming. I fuck with y'all, man. Y'all make sure y'all enjoy the rest of y'all weekend.